started to recognize that indulgent self-care was missing from my life and it has made such a difference to welcome it in and start to learn about this whole world. Welcome to my channel and welcome back to my channel. I have a product review video for you. I did a poll on my community tab asking which video you all would like to see next and I was sure that this would win and it won by a landslide of course. I haven't done one of these videos in a while so I have acquired a whole bunch of stuff. Some of these are empties, but it's all of this stuff and I just kind of gathered it and I put it here and we're going to see what I decide to talk about. I probably won't get around to talking about all of this. I will, just not in this video. And I figured that I would go ahead and I would just start with what is on me right now, what I'm using right now. I just did my nails, so it may seem like I'm going like this a lot or it feels like I am. So I thought I would start talking about my nail polish stuff. Once a long time ago, I did do a little video about the nail polish that I like to use, but not in a long time. So I'm gonna do that that right now and the, the reason that I really want to talk about it actually is because the nail polish is this it's called born pretty nail lacquer and this I got on wish.com and truth be told this it, it, they still don't look per perfect I need to do a little bit of cleanup but truth be told this is the best nail polish I have ever worked with as far as the shape of the brush and the way it spreads on so evenly, it is fantastic. So I wanna to try to get that to focus, but the shape of the brush is not round, it's like flat like that, see? And so the way, I really love nail polish brushes like that, and so the way it distributes, except for my thumbnail, if I push the brush down, it spreads out over my entire nail. So in one or two strokes, just going over the entire nail with that shape brush, you have coverage, but this formula, something about the nail polish formula, it just spreads out so evenly. It doesn't streak, it doesn't glob, it doesn't do anything like that. And I got this from Wish.com, and after I used the first one, I ordered two more. So if you're okay with ordering from Wish.com and waiting for a month for your product, I will link this below if it's still available. I ordered it a couple of years ago. I got curious about Wish and placed a couple orders. So this one is a matte formula, and I'm not sure what I think about the matte. I like it and I don't like it, but to fix it, I will probably, well, I like it and I don't like it. Now I'm looking at it and I think, uh, if I clean it up, it looks kind of neat. I'm not sure. Anyway, so what I can do is I can put a top coat on and it'll take away the matte look and give it that glistening look. But the base coat and top coat that I have been using is Sesh Vite. It's So this is the base and top coat. So this is... Here's the base coat that's Sage Clear, and I got these on Amazon. I will link them below, and this this is the Sage Feet Top Coat. They're at the most $8 each, but I really, really enjoy the way they work, and I would say I get a, at least a week out of them. Usually, if I paint my nails over the weekend, I get the work week out of it, and then I need to redo it so they start to chip a little bit, but they give it that nail salon sh sheen that is really, really nice, and I really, really like these. I haven't used one that I've liked better. There could be better out there as far as longevity, but so far I really do like these and I haven't heard a recommendation for better. I kind of went in the YouTube spiral looking for a good base coat and top coat for your nail polish and doing your own nails and this this kind of came out to be the winner, so I went ahead and got them and I do like them very much. The mascara that I'm wearing, I did briefly talk about this, but this is the Essence Lash Princess False, False Lash effect mascara. This I just learned about. It is cruelty free. You can get it on Amazon. If I can find stuff on Amazon that I'm talking about in this video, I'll link it below for you. But you can get it on Amazon and it's like five dollars. It's cruelty free. I had never heard of it before and then the Taylor, she's a YouTuber, she's awesome. She recommended it in one of her videos and I will zoom in on my eyelashes right now, but I like I like volume, so definitely make a note of that. If you like 
a more subtle, no mascara, mascara look, then I have some recommendations for you on the ones that I don't like because they're not volumizing enough, but I like volume with my mascaras. So this, it goes on so well, it separates nicely, it lengthens, it volumizes, it's affordable, it's cruelty free, highly recommend. The lip color that I am wearing, I have also touched on this lipstick. This is Perpetual Plum and it's Superstay 24 color by Maybelline. Not cruelty free. I found this at the back of my vanity. I just sold my other vanity that was hard to do, but I just sold it and I had to clear out the drawer and I found this at the back. I don't know how old it is. I don't want to know how old it is because I put it on and I love the color. I had never worn worn it before and so I'm pretending that it's not at least eight years old. I, should, I can't believe I just admitted that. I'm gonna leave that in. Hey, relatable, right? So I really like this. Not cruelty free. I have mentioned that I really love the formula of these. They last all day for me. Sometimes I come home and on the inner parts of my lips it's worn away a little bit but I've eaten, I've worn it all day long, I've had my coffee, so it's pretty darn good. I really think that this is one of the best long-lasting formulas that I have ever used. Not cruelty-free though, so I'm, I'm a re it's, it's a real bummer. I'm trying to do this cruelty-free thing and I'm, I'm just milking these. I will use them for years if they will let me. <laughs> They're all expired, probably. Um, okay, so that is what's on my face. And then to get my hair to do this, I did a tutorial on how I straighten my hair and how I make it do the wave that I have. I will link that above me here. But what I used this time was, oh, it was the Veda. I had to go get that. So I typically use this Living Proof TBD Multitasking Styler. I've talked about it enough times on my video that I will not go into it. I did do a video where I sp specifically talked about this and I'll link that above me here. So that's what I usually use and I really like that. That really grew on me. I didn't love it at first, but I really like it now. So this time we got this a Veda Damage Remedy Daily Hair Repair product in our Fall Fab Fit Fun box. And I used it and I thought it was nice. I am not impressed. I do feel like the Living Proof works much better as far as my hair getting as smooth. My hair is definitely wanting to be fluffier. I'm having to tame certain parts and go back in and use the straightener on certain parts again. I'm gonna use it again some more, maybe try putting a little more product in my hair next time. That doesn't say that it doesn't work as far as hair repair is concerned. I, this is a first impression review. I'd like to do multiple reviews of products as I use them. I will give you an update on what I think about this and if I learn how to use it more effectively as I go along. That's my first impression. And then after I straighten my hair with my uh, new me fashion Fashionista straightener, which is right here. I just had to touch up my hair so I have it out, but that's this. I've also talked about this quite a bit. You know, they reached out to me to become an affiliate and I emailed them with some questions and they never got back to me and I don't know, I have a commission code. I may or may not put it below. I don't like that when a company wants to do that, to work with me and I have a question and then they don't get back to me or they get back to me and it's confusing and strange because that's an indicator for you if I'm to recommend the product to you. I don't want to recommend a product to you if, they, if their customer service is anything like their PR team's responsiveness. I don't, I don't know about their customer service team, but their PR team was a little bit strange to communicate with. So as so far, I have not decided to move forward with becoming an affiliate for Numi. I do like this straightener a lot, but it was a little bit too bad. So I used that straightener and then I really love using hair oil. So when I'm totally done with a straightener, I will put a hair oil in and I used this time the DP Hue Argan Oil Hair Therapy. Now I like this hair oil. I like it. I like it. I think it's nice. I prefer over this one, I prefer my Marrakesh, which I've also talked about before and you've seen me use. If you've been subscribed, if you are new here, welcome. And if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing and say hello in the comments below. And then I really like another hair oil. This one is Garnier, and I've talked about this one too. So 
this one and the Moroccan one, these are those are my two favorite hair oils, and that's just because I think they're wonderful. Oh, Garnier is not cruelty free, which is too bad because their stuff is amazing. So this one I don't like as much as those. That doesn't mean that this isn't a good hair oil. I think it's really, really good. What makes me like it less is that it's a little bit runnier, and it also has a more perfume. Yeah. Oh, it actually smells quite nice. I think I just like, it smells really good. I think I just like the smell of the other two a little bit better as well. So this is a really awesome hair oil. Then after I'm done straightening, I put hair oil in my hair and then I wrap my hair around itself into a bun and I sleep in it. I let the hair oil absorb into my cuticle. And then when I let my hair down in the morning, it does this wavy curly thing and Again, when I use the TBD Living Proof stuff, that works better. That works much better. That is the review of everything that I'm wearing right now. Let's get into some other things. This is Pacifica Hot Vegan Probiotic Spice and Rehab Mask. So my husband, when he goes to TJ Maxx, he will stop by the clearance rack, smart man, <laughs> and he found this for me for a dollar, and I enjoy using it. The spice in it, you can smell it's a little bit peppery, and then it's also a little bit almost vanilla-y, a warmer scent, and then it's and then it smells slightly peppery, and then you can feel a little bit of a tingle, and it does feel like a very mild clarifying mask. I do enjoy using this, and he got it for a dollar. This probably retails, if I can find what this retails for, I will flash it across the screen. A dollar. He's so good. If you if you stumble on this, I would I would get it. I would pick it up for a dollar, even up to five dollars for sure at TJ, TJ Maxx if you can find it and you're looking for a mask that uh, is kind of like how I just described. Now, I got these in one of the spring FabFitFun sales. I needed a uh, Shampoo and conditioner. Wait, I think, how will it be for you guys? <laughs> Whatever. Shampoo and conditioner, R and Co. Just their regular moisturizing shampoo and conditioner. So this is a very pleasant set to use. I haven't been more impressed by them than, say, something you could get from the drugstore. The smell is nice. It's difficult to describe scents. It's not, it's not herbal. It's not warm. It's not spa-like. It's a little bit more on the perfumey side, so, and only a little bit, but enough where I notice it when I use it and then I can smell it in my hair afterward. It's just a little bit perfumey. All of those smells are perfumed. I hope that makes sense. I think it does. So I wouldn't run out and pick these up at the retail price for myself or recommend that you do, but I would say that if they come up in a sale again and you're a FabFitFun member and you are looking for shampoo and conditioner, yeah, go ahead and pick these up. These would be fine and they would get you through to, to your next set of shampoo and conditioner, just fine. I have been wanting to tell you about this one. This is OC. You know, I haven't, I used to see this on Instagram quite a bit, but I haven't lately. So anyway, this, it's OC and, or OSHA. I remember when I talked about it last time, I think Sherry clarified, hi Sherry. I think Sherry clarified what that means, and I'm going to have to look that up again and flash it across the screen. I'm forgetting. I apologize. But this is their Atmosphere Protection Cream, and I got this in a Pediver box, so you can rely on Pediver to send you cruelty-free, non-toxic products. I don't have to look into it with that box, which is one of the reasons that I just think it's amazing. I love that box. I will link a Pediver unboxing above me here for you. If you're not familiar with it, a lot of people aren't because because they aren't, they don't have a huge PR list. They have a very selective PR list. I've noticed that they really only send to channels that are geared toward cruelty-free, non-toxic, vegan beauty. Okay, that's enough about Pediver. So this I use in the morning. It smells herbal. It smells herbal and spa-like and uh, and refreshing. It's a wonderful smell for the morning. I would definitely put this on my list of ones that I would repurchase at full price. My husband likes the smell, which is a really big plus because he's really picky. And ever since I've been getting into this, he's having he's having some difficulty with the variety of smells coming out of the bathroom. I feel a little bad about that because I love doing this so much. And it's not giving him headaches or anything. He's not getting headaches. He just some once in a while there's 
there's something that I use and he's like, uh, what is that? <laughs> and he doesn't like it. One thing about it is when I first got it and I was using it under my Bare Republic Mineral Sunscreen, which I've talked about before, I really like this stuff. Uh, it's a for the face, so I put it on every single morning. When I put this on and I put on the sunscreen right away, this pilled, this pilled up and balled up really badly. So I decided, okay, well, I hope it doesn't if I wait. So I put it on, I brush my teeth, I go put clothes on, and then I come back and I put on the sunscreen, and then it doesn't do that. So this just needs a little more time to absorb. It is a little bit thicker for a morning moisturizer, so it just needs a little more time to absorb, so that solves that. Speaking of having issues with things balling up, I have reviewed this a couple of times with updates, and I have a new update. So this is the Living Proof Nourishing Styling Cream. So I love Living Proof products. They really do a good job, except therefore they sold to Unilever in 2016. So if you're doing cruelty-free, Unilever is not cruelty-free. Living Proof, though, still is. So I had given you guys an update that when I used this, it would ball up when I was applying it to my hair. And then once my hair was dry, I noticed that my hair was like dusty. If I flipped my hair, there would be dust that would plume off my hair, and it was a little bit weird. I realized that what I had been doing differently, sometimes I like to put hair oil on my hair before I apply my curly hair product, and I had done that a couple times, and I realized that it was the products reacting to each other, because I decided to give it another try without hair, hair oil, and it worked beautifully. This is a styling cream that works beautifully. I would recommend this. Depending on what you're doing with cruelty free, I would highly recommend this. It is an excellent styling cream and it feels so light and it defines your hair. It doesn't feel like there's product in your hair, which is so hard to find products where it doesn't feel, once your hair is done and styled, it doesn't feel like there's anything in it. That is gold when you can find that, and this is one of those products. I love Living Proof stuff. I really wish they weren't owned by Unilever. I'm trying to not to buy things owned by Unilever, but everything seems to be. Okay, this is another TJ Maxx find. I paid $5.99 at TJ Maxx, and it says compare at 10, but I have noticed those compare at prices are sometimes just way off, so I don't know what it retails for really, but it's Nature Love Apple, Apple Cider Vinegar Hair Rinse, and I thought that I would review this because I got this. I got the DEP Hue ACV Hair Rinse in the last Fit Fun Sale, or in the summer edit that took a while to get to me. I wanted to let you know what I thought of this because I have received this and I've used this as well. This is excellent. This is awesome. I do agree. It's wonderful. This compared though, this works, I would say, almost as well. It smells like green apple. So if you're okay, like a subtle green apple Jolly Rancher. So I accidentally left it unscrewed in my shower. So I realized that that probably means the active ingredient apple cider vinegar evaporated. So there's not very much left. I'm not losing much, but I am sure that it's not going to be as effective. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. But I think it worked almost as well, if not as well. I would give this a try at $5.99 for sure. This was the first time I had ever used an apple cider vinegar hair rinse. I thought, it, I thought that this was great. I really enjoyed using it, and this works very similarly. Oh my gosh, there is so much stuff here. I could talk for an hour or more, probably. Let's talk mud masks. I have three different mud masks here to talk about. Actually, this is a little bit like a mud mask. I'm gonna go in order from worst to best. So this is the Ahava Mineral Mud Mask. This one in the pinkish fuchsia-like jar. I was surprised that it's very fragranced, almost like a sweet, tart, fruity fragrance, which is okay, sure. It looks like a mermaid mud mask. When I use a mud mask, I've mentioned this before, I prefer my mud masks to really dry up and feel like they really sucked a lot of the yucky out of my face. This, I don't feel like it did that. It still felt a little bit too moist when I used it, and I just don't like it as much as the two here in my lap because of that. It just didn't feel as clarifying as I would like a mud mask to feel. I'm gonna give it one more try. I used this once, so that's a first impression. This mud mask right here 
is excellent. I first started getting into this whole world of beauty and self-care about two years ago. What day is it even? About, <laughs> about two and a half years ago probably. And this was one of the very first things that I purchased when I just when I made the decision that that was what I wanted to do. I started to recognize that indulgent self-care was missing from my life and it has made such a difference to welcome it in and start to learn about this whole world. Okay, so this is the Bay Body Beauty Dead Sea Mud Mask and I found this on Amazon for about $15 and the wonderful thing about them is when they sent this to me, they sent me a vitamin C serum with it. And at the time, I had no idea what the heck that was or what it was for. So I didn't actually use it until last year. And it was okay. Some vitamin C serums have like a funky-ish smell and it had a little bit of a funky-ish smell. Maybe it had gone bad because I didn't open it for a year after I got it. I'm not sure. But I don't have that anymore and I used it a while ago. So I'm gonna stop talking about that. This mud mask works really, really well. I like using it with the silicone application I also purchased this at the same time. Well, no, shortly thereafter because I realized I don't like getting the mud mask under my fingernails. That's just a struggle that no one should have to deal with. It smells like clean mud mask smell. This is a very straightforward formula. It goes on, it dries up, it sucks things out. It feels like you've done a mud mask when you wash it off. Your skin feels soft and cleaned. And then this is the Grown Alchemist deep cleansing facial mask. So this came in my summer editor's box. I purchased the summer editor's box because it was a better box than the summer box or fall box by far. And I wanted a good box because I wasn't really wowed by either the summer or the fall box from FabFitFun and that's all right. I love their sales. I loved this editor's box. I didn't realize that this was a mud mask. This is probably the best mud mask I have ever used. It really sucks up all the grossness in your face or it feels like it does and it dries down. It smells like herbal spa like awesomeness. It feels so clarifying when you use it and it's Golden Alchemist, Australian company, cruelty free, non-toxic, all of that wonderful stuff. There's that. Oh and then this is kind of unmasky. So I got talked into buying this in I think the fall add-ons fall 2018 add-ons, so a year ago. And I shouldn't have. I didn't want to because, oh, what is it, you ask? The Murad uh, Pore Extractor Pomegranate Mask. So the reason I got suckered into getting this one is because it was all over the community forum. People were like, you need this in your life, you have to get it. It was the superstar of that sale, one of a couple of superstars in that sale. And I bought it, I bought it, and the reason that I shouldn't have is the shelf life is six months. I have hardly used it. It's supposed to be for oily skin, which is fine. Um, I can use it in my T-zone. It's a mask. It's mud, very much like a mud mask, and it has exfoliating beads in it. I just, I obviously haven't enjoyed using, using it. I've used it a few times and it is not a mask that I reach for at all. I will probably donate this to the women's shelter. Also, Murad's owned by Unilever. In case you're curious about that, Unilever just owns everything. It's crazy. So that is mud masks, and I have been talking a lot. I'll talk about one more thing. So this is the Grown Alchemist Hydro Restore Cream Cleanser. I'm trying to, I squeezed the heck out of it. But that's it. And the funny thing out is my husband tried this and he fell in love with it too. So this is very much a cream cleanser. It doesn't foam, it's not gel-like, it is very hydrating. If you want something that feels more cleansing, then this would not be for you. I really like cream cleansers. I think that they work really well for my skin. I wouldn't recommend this if you wear foundation regularly and you need something for the double cleanse. I would not recommend this. I would say that this would not finish up the job to get off your foundation. That's just my guess and I've 
I wouldn't pick this for the double cleanse. This definitely would not be a cleanser for everybody. It is a cleanser for me. It smells just like the Grown Alchemist exfoliator, which I'll grab. I've talked about this before. It smells just like the Polishing Facial Exfoliant by Grown Alchemist, which is the most amazing thing I have ever used as far as exfoliators go. It smells exactly the same to me. And it it's basically like this without the beads, I think. I, I think it has patchouli in it. So I lived in San Francisco for 10 years and patchouli can definitely be overdone. There are a lot of people in San Francisco who overdo patchouli, but this is the perfect amount of patchouli. Yep, Pogostamon Coplin is the botanical name of patchouli. Pogostamon Coplin. I will put that across the screen. So it smells very much like the patchouli in it. It has a lot of other scents. Uh, sandalwood. So I would say the patchouli and the sandalwood are very good ways to describe this, but there are also fruit fruit extracts that balance it out, like grapefruit and ylang ylang, that's flower. I haven't done a product review video in so long, I just had so much to tell you. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Introduce yourself in the comments below, I would love that, say hello. I'm gonna do this, I saw this on someone's video, like, I think it would be over here, I think I would, right here, hit this to subscribe. <laughs> I'm gonna try to put the subscription button right here. Hit this to subscribe. <laughs> Anyway, that's it for now. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for joining me and I will see you in my next video. Bye!